that's a lot of energy. I want to, I'm going to, everybody, welcome to our home. There's like a circus playing inside of my head. It just goes, doo -doo -doo -doo. everybody just go, Whoosh. hey everybody, <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Wild at Home. This is Richie. He's going to make some steam braised fish today. Everybody. Welcome to Wild at Home. I'm Richie. Today we are going to be steaming, but not just any kind of steaming. We're going to be braising and steaming together at the same time. Steaming fish isn't a mystery to most people. It's an ancient way to make fish. It's very gentle. Um, it brings in some really powerful aromatics, but we're going to be doing a twist on it. So it's a steam with a twist. I'm calling it a steam NATO. It's my, my catchphrase for the week. Steam NATO is the, the name of the game. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna break down the fish. So we're gonna have a little bit of halibut today and a little bit of Pacific cod. Doesn't matter what you're using. If it's white fish, it's gonna be a win. And then we're gonna use aromatics, thyme, bay leaf, fennel, some pepper. And then we're gonna also be using some lemon zest, garlic, and then and then lemon juice and wine, and then butter and olive oil. That's it. We'll cut these into small pieces. Steaming, when you hear it, you might be bored. You're like, oh God, steam fish. Great, no thank you, next. In reality, steam fish, if you add in a couple twists, which is what we're doing, you're gonna be really surprised with how delicious this is. Um, and those twists really just are butter and oil. You know, liberally season your fish. You're gonna let this sit in for about 20 minutes. So with your lemon and your garlic, the garlic you can do like a rough chop. With the lemon, you're gonna to wanna to mince and get it pretty fine. If you have a lemon zester, just zest it. We're gonna add our aromatics first. So the idea is to get some of these aromatics released. And now you're gonna add your fat, your braising liquid, lemon and your garlic, and then let that come to a simmer. It doesn't seem like there's a ton of liquid in here, your fish is gonna release a lot of liquid. So lay your fish around in a circle. You've probably done this technique many times before without even knowing it, without even registering it in your brain. Don't crowd it too much. Put your lid on. It's been about four minutes. What we're gonna do now is flip these gingerly. You see how much more liquid is in here now? What's really telling of this recipe is that if you're using bad fish, you will know right away when you're steaming. So, really only the best, this steaming braising technique. Just let the liquid cook down a little bit. So everything is definitely finished. We're gonna plate it over here, and it's far from done. It might seem like, oh yeah, we can eat this, and you can, it's gonna be delicious. It's butter and lemon, and, you know, wild caught Alaskan halibut. But, take three or four more minutes, and and make the sauce. Place your pan back on the heat. You're gonna bring it down to medium, and then you're gonna bring white wine, and you're gonna bring in some butter, and you're gonna bring in some cream. I'm using yogurt, about a tablespoon. And you're just gonna gauge it. You might need a little more liquid. In fact, I'm gonna need a little more white wine. You wanna get all these little nice bits. I think this really is the key to the whole recipe. All right, this is just about perfect. I'm gonna pour this over the fish. Wanna try? Okay. I smell the this time. You? Is it different? It's no different. Okay. Mm. It's flaky. It's bright with some citrus. This is basically a butter sauce, yeah. So it oh it fell in my cup. <laughs> Bottoms up. Your family will like it. Your your whole family will like yeah. it. Don't skimp on the sauce. Take the extra two minutes and make your sauce. It's a steam fish, but with a twist, we're calling it steamnado. Steamnado. Perfect. You guys, thanks to our fishermen out there who are catching our halibut, that are catching our Pacific cod. Most of you members out there are getting your halibut to your door this month. Thank you for your support. Try this recipe. 
Leave some comments below. Let us know what you guys want to see next week. Um, maybe kid food. You want some fish and chips? Do you want mac and cheese? For those that are not members out there, Wild Home is the promo code. That's twenty-five dollars off your first month. Um, put that in. Go check us out, sickasalmonshares.com. Tune in next week. I don't know what we're going to be cooking, but we'll figure it out together like we always do. That's it, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Stay wild.